I love to see that sort of pride. We don't really see at the same sort of level when it comes to the British at Richmond School. Of course, I guess it, there's different undertones to that. But I love, I love it when the Irish crowd support their players. As we head on into game one, we've got Ireland versus Sweden kicking us off here. PS2, let's go, man. Yeah, Ireland, you know, are out there strong. They've just come off celebrating a upset with rapid takedown Curry Governor, and now hoping to see if, if Foggy can do the same here. Of course, starting things off nice and simple on Pokemon Stadium 2. Just gonna keep things nice and neutral, kind of just poking away each other right now, Focus. Absolutely. This is a bit of an awkward matchup for these two players. They don't have the best out of shield options that hit these low profiles, So it's and they don't have good rising aerial slow. So a lot of it comes down to how they play this landing um, rising aerial mix-up game. It's, it's kind of tricky to see, but we're gonna see a lot of fast movement out of, the, out of, this ra out of these ranges. It's gonna be very interesting to see. Well, I feel like Zero Suit especially is such a tricky character to pin down, which is what something that Palutena really wants to do. She wants to get your hands on you, lock down, get you trapped into those neutral airs. But Zero Suit is just so mobile, could dodge around, and even then just like finds those small little moments, strikes with that upbeat, nearly taking away Foggy's stock there. I'm loving this movement coming out from Cloudberry. Impressive stuff so far. But it, because that combo did not kill, we enter some scary territory here where Palio has a bit of rage and has some volatility in the gameplay. And as I say, the jump is called out a very strong start from Foggy, catching that jump with the upper and has a lot of rage at his disposal. That's what you gotta do, Focus. That's what you gotta do. You gotta catch those moments. You gotta find your opening, strike as hard as you can. Foggy taking the stock away and now has all this room just to chain these neutral airs together. Just get all that damage on the board before Cloudberry can even strike back. This is a very strong start. So important that they survive there. And what can you do with this momentum? I feel like whoever's, well, that's not me, whoever's like, feeling themselves can really take it to the opponent. And it's really starting to show here. You see the same jump read come out, not gonna find the mark, but it's a, it's a lot of tick damage racked up from this palo. It's really nice to see. And you keep it going. The back air stuffs out everything. And that's a crazy, crazy play. This Palutena man is doing work. This is a four set, can't be stopped. Well, well, I say can't be stopped. Does flick them up to the sky, takes that stock away. But this is such a good lead right now for Foggy. Can just keep up all this pressure right now. Get so much chip damage on the board. Cloudberry really just got to try and find a way to strike back. But you can just see now that Foggy is just going to literally hold back. You know, kind of just wait for a single opportunity to strike in there. Just get like literally a chain of anything, but does not need to risk anything at all, Focus. Sure, once you have this like, sizable lead, you can slow the pace down, or you can keep momentum going. Cloudberry trying to seize some control back than himself. Doing okay so far, but has a lot to go. I, I'm liking the use of there. He's slowing it down as well. Has that range of advantage, it's the one tool you have that outranges everything Palu has. Yeah, I do like that Cloudberry now is starting to hold back a little bit. Actually, yeah, the use of the Zare, as you pointed out, so, so good at just kind of like just zoning away a little bit. Just as soon as like Fog is approaching, just zap, bam away a little bit. Just, you know, kind of give yourself a bit of space between this balance. Zone. Especially when you're in these sort of positions, you just cannot risk like, you know, kind of just recklessly charging in. And Cloudberry is really kind of just, as you said, slowing down the pace of the game, starting to play a lot more carefully, which is exactly what you need to do right now. She is the percent is slowly rising. I love that play. Going through that lazy auto reticle, killing with a fair, and you're not that far behind now. Palu can have those similar uh, issues when trying to kill, but this percent's racking up 107% on Cloudberry at the moment. A mountain to climb. Back air very strong, we're not going to do it just yet, but it's close to flame. Two kills in a row with that explosive move. <laughs> Ireland showing up game one. Very strong start for Boggy. How can he ride this momentum in the rest of the set? Yeah, I mean, this is a case of where Foggy was just, yeah, built on so much momentum that he'd be gained throughout the match there. Just saw the opportunity off stage. You know, Cloudberry, unfortunately, just flipping into the explosive fame a few times. That's all he's really going to take. And again, Foggy just hold back, just shoot out. Has that explosive jet off that can just deal with so much pressure off stage as well. You don't need to do it. If you don't have to go off stage, you can just stay safe. I think they've both fired these warning shots off stage. There's there have been some lazy recoveries on both sides. 
and they've been they've both shown that they can punish those sort of poor habits. We've seen uh, we saw Cloudberry take a stop by going through the auto rattle off stage to get a fair. We've seen Cloudberry killed twice for flip picking into uh, explosive flame. So it shows that you can't mess around even in um, a set this early on in brackets. Yeah, you still, even in this early stage, you're still gonna play it carefully. And again, like both these are kind of sort of playing this very sort of simple neutral right now. Cloudberry trying to find a way through with that up there, so just trying to cover that entire area. But Foggy's having none of it. Again, just gonna keep swallowing around, just you know, throwing out this, just these big hitboxes like the back air or something like the net or something like that. Just keep distance away. Again, this pace is just so far down. Cloudberry, the one just does not want to approach right now. Say, so, Foggy, so, you've got to come to me right now. I, I noticed that Poggy's been playing this landing aerial, falling aerial, Tom, empty land grab mix up incredibly well. He's winning these scenarios a lot. He's making use of Kalu's narrative very well. And I don't think ZSS has the, the best tools for punishing it hard. You can have up B, but it's very committal. If you, if you whiff it, then you take a lot. I like that flip kick. Can you get a kill? Ooh. There we go. Up B killing off the top. Sub 100. Good start for Cloudberry. Can he ride this momentum though? Okay, I love that from Cloudberry again, just going for that sort of that point blank flip there, just to get into the up B. Really, really nice stuff. And again, now just gonna have to try and get all the three damage on the board. But obviously Foggy is still trying to hold by going up these off stage pressure here. But they again we talked about how mobile Zero Two is, but sometimes you're not mobile enough. Yeah, bonking off that um, off the head of Palutena with the flip jump. Putting us up in a poor position when that up air is there. And one there comes out, leading to several more into the back air, even things up already. This is really bad, but able to make it back. You have to be careful off stage. These yeah. edge gardens are crazy. Well, I mean, especially as we saw what happened in game one, like there's so many times when Cloudbear was just off stage getting hit by that explosive flame. And Foggy just knows how dangerous it is. Because like, Flip is such a good tool for moving around. But then equally, you do have that set distance. You do go that certain kind of angle. And if you could just like position it perfectly, you just get smacked by it. Sure. Tricky spot for ZSS. I'm, you can see now, now there's a bit more port put into these recoveries, a lot, a lot more tricky reversal options. But Foggy's done well to play around it so far. Delicate play here. You can't afford to lose this next stop. Okay, it's a bit scrappy, a bit scrambly. <laughs> Crash is getting to both. These grabs are with him. Yeah, again, both of those. We're going for a actually closer distance there on the explosive plane, but Cloudberry was just going to move around it. You can see both of them literally just kind of play policies with each other right now. It's just like, no, neither wants to approach, neither wants to go in because they know how dangerous. That was a risky grab there, but Foggy gets away with it. But Cloudberry does get the stun, but doesn't go for anything else, just go for a jab. Does go off stage here with Foggy, but again, Cloudberry just not in a position to strike back just yet, focus. Yeah, tricky, tricky platform movement using the B reverse on that side B. Gets an important stock lead here. What can you do with it? The issue is you've not really been, sh you haven't shown that you can punish these aerials on shield. And so when that's the case, it feels like Foggy can press whatever they want and, and get, get it going without an answer. You're seeing nares which are typically not safe go unpunished because ZSS doesn't have the best options for it in those situations. And it feels like Foggy has the advantage. You need big plays from Cloudberry in advantage when you get that hit to really make, keep things even. As it stands, the ladder comes out, not going to lead to much. You need a bit more, I think, Smar. Well, this is like, that was like such a good point of yours as well, because I feel like what we've been seeing from Foggy and what's been making the difference here is that Foggy's advantage has been so good. These strings have been extended constantly, getting get all this damage on the board. But Cloudberry's been kind of getting like one, two hits here and there. And while it's close at the moment, so Foggy, if you keep up that ridiculous advantage state, that momentum that was going into like those first and second stocks, we could be seeing a second game here for Foggy. But of course, Cloudberry looking straight back, does Ooh. get the down smash, tries to incorrectly guess where Foggy be, but does not get it right. So Foggy hangs on here, but both of them now in a position where everything is scary. You see Cloudberry trying to break Foggy's ankles, but nothing has been harmed as of yet. I think we're, uh-oh, that's really bad boost kick to whiff. But staying alive just uh, so far. Still to play for here. Foggy's done quite, Cloudberry's done quite well to stay out of range. Playing the mid-range game really well with his elegant movement and coming in for these nickel and dime forward airs. He had the right idea but didn't commit to the forward air. I love the patience there. The grab comes out and it's the forward air that is going to take it away. 
as Cloudberry takes game two, gets one on the board for the Swedish Zero Suit main there. The warning shot was fired once again, Smart. You saw Cloudberry run off, threatening the double jump forward there. He didn't pull the trigger last time. Foggy seemed unaware of what was happening in front of him. And then Cloudberry presented the same situation again and just pulled the trigger and it worked because it was a sort of telegraph path back to the stage and it's a really important game to take. Cloudberry's been moving. I've, I'm, I've really liked how he's used Zero Suit's crazy mobility to his advantage yeah. to make up for the subpar frame data up close not being able to scrap in the same way. I think if Foggy wins, he's gonna try, he's, he, he tries to try to force these scrappy situations which he'll generally come out on top in. But it's, it's tricky. How do you scrap when someone's consistently like evading you? He's done quite well here to lead to 52. How is it going to continue in this game? This is the whole problem though, is trying to lock down this Zero Suit, which is causing so much issue. But again, Foggy, I do like that again, just reverting back to this game plan we had, similar to game one, where it's more about keeping your distance. It's only way of an auto vertical. You know, find out kind of a few, like, as you said, the warning shots and things like warn the forward air. You know, just threatening with like neutral air as well, because if you get caught by one, you're going to get caught by another. Yeah, and again, like then, just so tentative up, and I love the pressure of the up smash there, catching the high recovery, which Cloudberry has been constantly going for. That's sending a message there, Smart. Really strong start. The message was sent there, but got lost along the way. The right idea was had, but Foggy, very light, very lucky to be alive at the moment. And what's he going to do with his second chance? 43. Steve Cloudberry still trying to throw in these mix-ups, but he's adjusting the timing a little bit more and understands that if he messes up, he can die very, very easily. Gets the there, gets the there, doesn't get the back air, but keeps it going. Can you get a bit more? It's really tricky. You don't really have the best options for catching the Palutena recovery. Again, and so, this oh, I love that. Ankles have been broken. Lovely stuff from Cloudberry. Yeah, that's the second time we've seen Cloudberry gone for it, and this time it works out beautifully. I was going to say how important it was that Cloudberry kind of took that stop now. That's exactly what he did there. Lovely, lovely stuff. Now, back to the for to try and keep the momentum going from before, because Cloudberry now leveling the playing field. Still a bit of a deficit in damage between them, but it's certainly in a position where he can now fight on a level playing field. Absolutely. Going to take a lot from Luthi from that grab. Down tilt catches everything. There's no resource, but you're able to get the back to ledge to get something back. But autopilot get up into the active F tilt. Strong option from the Irish Palu here. And it opens up again. 33 is decent, but maybe not as much as you'd like in that situation, but you keep it going. Yeah, and Cloudberry just not really being able to find much going on here. Does get a little bit of a just a one-two tap onto Foggy there. But again, Foggy just really commanding the stage right now. The grab does come out from Cloudberry though, hoping to kind of shift the momentum into his favor there. Just trying literally anything. But again, Foggy's just saying, hey, I don't need to be scared. I'm good over here. Like this this right corner of the stage, that's my that's my whole area right now. He can take his time, but if he gets hit in the corner, he'll die early. As you say, back air killing quite early. If he was in that Pokeball, we'd be, he'd be chilling. He's only 50 part behind, but have to see. The plays can be made. It's a big deficit now. It's, it's starting to rise. There's a lot of space for ZSS to move into and calling the jump into the Pokeball. This is a bit scrappy. Yeah, I mean, you can literally see both of them are literally just trying to find that one little opening mm. for either player just to kind of get something going. But neither is like giving any wiggle room to allow it to happen. Foggy at the moment holding a bit of an advantage here, but Cloudberry is trying to put a stop to it. We do go off stage. We know how devastated Foggy has been up there. Goes for a down tilt there, but the monkey, the, the monkey flip, the, 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 the zero flip yeah, there, yeah, yeah. yeah and it's gonna just completely change it and the momentum there. Just Ooh. give another chance. But I love this. Just a little tap into the up tilt there, and Foggy takes game three away. We love to see it. Very elegant kill confirm from that Palutena player. He's happy about it. <laughs> Showing the hearts to the crowd. We love to see it. It's some good, good Palutena play, man. Yes. It's lovely to see. I was going to say, this has been a strong, strong set so far from both players. Both of them just literally not giving anything to either player at any time. It's like, when we talk so much about kind of, you know, Foggy's momentum, the advantage state we've seen previously, but then Cloudberry just strikes back anyway. You're going to this game four, Foggy with the advantage, one game away from taking a set, but I can't call it focus. I think Cloudberry can certainly take to this game five, but we're gonna have to see what 
happens here. Mm. I wonder if Cloudberry will start to turn up the Jets. I think we saw an indication of what, he's, what the game plan is here when he started off with a run-up, up smash, catching the jump. It's, if you can continue that sort of cycle of aggression where you're catching the jump, forcing shield, getting grabs, condition, then we'll see it. But it feels like Cloudberry doesn't have that same sort of control. And it feels like he's on the back foot. He's, he's grabbing into nothing, so he doesn't have the right read on Foggy's movement. I think Foggy's done quite well to, to like mix up how he's, he's, he's going around the stage. Very elegant play, but very even so far here. Far. Again, Cloudberry just trying to find a way through. We are, I was, yeah, I was wondering kind of the same as you, like you, would we see Cloudberry go, turn on the Jets a little bit more? But so far, it's still just kind of Revert to that very similar neutral state where it's just poking away each other, threatening with the forward air, anything like that. Things like the grab as well. I think you know, aiming to go for Zare there rather than just straight up grounded grab. But again, both these players just looking for something. Calberry goes to a down smash there, but Foggy, complete opposite end to him. Not going to be falling for that. Does go stage there. Cloudberry going to let him back for free though. Trying to get something going there. Cloudberry just striking away. Turning on the Jets a little bit more as we talked before. This has been a lot of pressure suddenly all of, well, suddenly from Cloudberry. But again, Foggy just going to make it freely back. Gets that dash tag, the burst range of that. Nearly taking away Cloudberry's stock. It feels like they're throwing out a bit more things at the wall, hoping that something sticks. But DSS is getting stuck up to the heavens as that up tilt is there again for another stock. The forward air is not going to find the mark. Going to hurt. Foggy doing well to stay alive in at this juncture. What can you do? The bonk on the flip kick. Oh, that is going to get punished hard. The, the fortunate about the grab, as good as it is, sometimes if you do the grounded option, it's a laggy, lucky choice. And unfortunately, you're going to get punished hard there. Take you 44% cloud, but you certainly don't want to take that. Definitely wants to take this stock away. You can see him literally just trying to flick out any sort of kick, anything to take away the stock right now. Does get the kick there, and it is going to be the forward smash that takes it away. Cloudberry evening up the board once more. I'm low-key surprised you went for the smash. I've seen that move fail so many times. <laughs> Glad it worked out for Cloudberry. He needed that. Is doable, but is definitely behind. And has sort of been on the back foot for most of the set, I feel. Not been able to get the right guesses, not get, getting the right read on how Foggy moves as a player. And not be able to get the, the crucial reads which would lead to stocks early. But free, very clean, crisp movement. But you're falling into a back air. One more stock. And this Irish player will move on further into bracket and finds that nair, finds another. Doesn't find the upper, but gets more and more multi-hit damage. 40% here. Really strong position at the moment here, Smart. Again, we taught her, yeah, we thought there would be Cloudberry that was the one that turned on Jets, but I feel like it's Foggy all of a sudden that is going on the aggression, has seen that victory is on the horizon here, could just literally go for all this damage. You, you don't have to be that careful. You could just go on the aggression, just get all this damage. You are so close to taking this set win here, no and it's working out perfectly, Foggy, as we do set up an offensive ledge trap here. Goes for the grab, doesn't get it though, but Cloudberry is still stuck in the position. The retreat back with the grab there, sending him off to the left side this time. So, so nice, Foggy, moments away from taking a win here. Looks like the wind's coming to him soon, but finds that read, gets the reverse on the boost kick, but it's not doing it just yet. Cloudberry might be a bit frustrated here. You need to get that stock. You're very far behind. And you get the tech read again. There you go. We're back to an even stock position. The Swedish ZSS has some life in him just yet. But the up air is going to clip him. No jump, avoiding the explosive flame, but the kill moves are going to start coming out so, so quickly here. Back air's a threat. Down tilt's a threat, F tilt's a threat. You have to be so careful with your ZSS, the teleport. Ledge cancel, back air, gonna do it. Foggy moves on with a 3-1. Very, very beautiful stuff to watch. I love to see some good Palutena play, man. And Just we saw it. Wave that island flag high as it is another victory for an Irish lot. They have been going crazy this weekend so far. And another victory on the board for them there as Foggy does move on. Again, just a very good set of just like mm -hmm. clean, neutral fundamentals there. Again, Foggy just, you know, especially in that last game, we saw so many different options come out from Foggy that Cowboy was just not ready for it. The up smash, the, you know, sort of confirming with the near one into the up tilts, the things like that, you know, catching the high recoveries, everything like that, which is so nice. It was so different from the previous games that we all saw there. And again, it was just clean gameplay the entire